Hello, welcome back in everyone to more Seven Wonders Duel here on the Sorcerer Network. My name is Sorcerer Matt. I think that Circus Maximus and Mausoleum are what I want to do, and then Divine Theater Hanging Gardens is a is a tough choice, but I'm I think I'm I think I'm okay with it. Um, all right. Seems a pretty obvious start here. Um This is an okay set of progress tokens. Making it, you know, defensible that we take a science card here. Eh, I, I don't want to go down to two coins. I, I don't want to do that. Interesting. Okay, I mean, uh, placing the token here, but uh, uh, is is good. Um, cause yeah, now this is, you know, really setting me up in a tough spot here, but, um, I'm happy to take that. Um, and I'm happy to discard. Yeah. Okay. That's something to watch. Um... I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this science token. I do have the mausoleum, so, like, yeah. I figured my opponent was going to do that, um, but I kind of want whatever's here. Yes, I definitely want the free wood. And then I will also happily take this glass as well. Because the nice thing with this... This really doesn't help my opponent, yeah. So, like, um, I, I think that's, while it gives me a resource, I, I think that is a pretty good play by my opponent. Okay, that's bail. That's very interesting. So that's bail. This might be raw. So um, I don't have an extra turn here. Um, however, um, now my opponent could decide to use an extra turn here, which my assumption is they will to make sure that they can, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, my opponent knows that this is probably raw. Um, so that's a, that's a good play by my opponent. Um, it means that my opponent is going to probably take the Divine Theater. Yeah. Um, however, I am going to take this, and I'm going to go ahead and grab Economy. And then next turn, I'll do the bail route. Um, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm going to go like this. This isn't like a home run play, but um, yeah, I, I, I like this way better than... Yeah, and I'm oh, I'm okay just doing this. I like it better than letting my opponent potentially get <laughs> get something. Um, yeah, um, it's not the worst card in the world, but I really don't want my opponent to have it. So um, I think that I just discard it. I think money is is valuable right now. Also, trying to get the gate isn't the worst thing, because this is Tanit right here. Getting 12 coins would be pretty nice. Um, I'm very okay with that. Um, and I'm also very okay with this. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, 100%. We don't allow my opponent to go Divine Theater and Gate. Um, ooh. Getting Theology here is pretty nice, and I think is better than the 12 coins. Because um, that gives me an extra turn on all of these, which is pretty nice.
that makes sense. My opponent, I mean, my opponent would want that, except they can't afford it. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I'm happy to grab this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so now I think that I feel safe. Mm, I actually don't care if my opponent... Well, you know what? I'm going to do this. I think getting five points is nice. And getting this token here, yeah, that doesn't really, doesn't really bother me, especially with that. That, that doesn't really bother me. Um, okay. Um, I think that this is perfectly fine. I'm just going to go ahead and... and Again, I, I don't want my opponent to get that, so um, I feel good about that. Yeah, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Um, I am okay doing this. Okay. So, um, I think that I would like to, I'm going to put some pressure here. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. And then I think it is perfectly fine to do this because I think that, one, that gets some coins out of there, and two, that allows me to get rid of this, which is helpful. Uh, my opponent will choose who goes first, but I think that is fine. This architecture is um, really, really a, a downer here. Yeah, that makes sense. Um I can prevent the Divine Theater here, unless my opponent does it now. Oh, nope, my opponent does not. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I just prevent the Divine Theater here. Actually, no. I'm going to do it like this. Uh, we do this. And I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to go like this. Because now my opponent cannot use the Divine Theater. Um, and I think that it is okay to grab... I mean, we're going for this military thing, so we might as well just... We're doing it. We might as well commit to the bit. I'm happy to grab that. Mm -hmm, that makes sense. I'm happy to grab this because this gets me a lot of coins. This also kind of forces my opponent to do something with this. Oh, I, I love that. I'm into that. Um, okay, so I want to do this. Okay, I'm. It's fine. I I have the coins to deal with that. Um, yeah, it's it's points at this point. Like uh, it, the military. The nice thing about the military thing, and this is why, um, you know, kind of again strategically, you can kind of you can kind of manipulate things here because. This is actually getting me quite a lot of points. And my opponent's not out of the woods yet. Like, and the interesting thing here is my opponent is going to have to, so I'm going to do this, and I get seven points off of this, and then my opponent has to take the military card instead of the seven points. Because otherwise, my opponent loses. Um, so, not only do I get the seven points from the science card, but I also get the seven points from the blue card. 
which is very delightful. Um, yeah, GG, my friend. Um, that was a very well-fought game. Um, I, so I, I think what my opponent did very well here, um, and something that I, I'm getting more in, is that my opponent just allowed me to have some resources. Um, you know, I, I, don't get me wrong, there is something to be said about choking off those resources, but, um, uh, at some point you just kind of like, you know what, I can get better cards by just allowing my opponent to have some resources and hopefully have better cards. Um, where I think the game change is one, getting theology was huge because that gave us some extra turns. We were able to cut off the divine theater and then, um, the ability for us to kind of push the war. Um, like, I mean, that's that seven points absolutely mattered in in that being able to get the seven points here and then being able to get the seven point cards my opponent had to take the military card that's huge so um we kind of forced my opponent into some choices which is kind of what you want to do in a game like this you kind of want to dictate what your opponent is doing um you don't want to be reacting to what your opponent is doing. You want to be the one that's forcing the issue. And that's not to say you can't win if you are if you have to react. Like, I believe me, there's hundreds of, of instances. And even, you know, on this channel itself, you, you've probably seen situations where, um, you know, we've been able to win by... Um, ooh, this is nice. Um, I mean, it's not nice that Temple of Artemis was the one, but uh, I'll happily take... I'll happily take Divine Theater and Hanging Gardens. I don't, I don't think that's bad. So, I don't love uh, not getting the Tavern, but... I mean, we still get a yellow card. Um, the nice thing about this for my opponent is that um, they will get um, two yellow cards... Uh, the nice thing for us is that we're going to take... I'm going to take the free resource rather than paying one for the stone. And I get to place this, um, which um, I think throwing that over there is perfectly fine. This is pretty nice as well. I'm assuming my opponent is going to take the press. But then we get the stone pit, and that's, again, perfectly okay. I feel good where we're at. Okay, my opponent then grabs a science card. So that's going to be something we have to watch because I uh, definitely don't want my opponent to be able to um, get a science victory based on, you know... Yeah, see, that tells me that my opponent might be trying to do some science shenanigans. So, with that said, I think we discard this for coins. Hmm, interesting. Honestly, not upset about that at all. I mean, my opponent gets to place the mythology token, which... It, it, it's hard to quantify how good that is. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm okay doing this. I don't... If my opponent wants to grab that science card, cool. Um... My opponent won't get four science cards. Oh, interesting. Um, all right, well, I, I really want this, um, as well as I don't mind placing this, because, um, yeah, I want to throw that there, because now I'm pushing the gate over on my side, which is exactly what I want. Um... I do not think I care. I'm, I'm going to roll the dice on this science token thing. Yep. I am perfectly okay with this. I'm going to grab this. Um, I'm okay throwing that there. I think that's fine. Okay. Um, I'm okay with that. Um, assuming my opponent takes the glass.
Yeah. I'm just gonna grab the. I'm just gonna grab the double stone. It's free. It doesn't matter. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go first, and this is actually a really nice set for us because my opponent cannot afford Tanit, and I get the very key yellow card here. And then, if my opponent really wants to spend this, now I I have I I'm kind of screwed on cash here, but um, my opponent I think should take the progress token. You know, you've got agriculture, you've got urbanism. Um, oh, you just grab that, really? I I you know I don't. Um, so I do need to watch the discard pile here, um, because I don't want my opponent to get the symbol, and I can't, I can't get it because of the snake. So, um, the other thing that is in play here would be to, um, uh, yeah, I have to do this, though. I have to grab... Because I, I, I lose if my opponent gets this. Um, so, I mean, I'm just going to grab three points. This is... That's a really, 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 really poopy uh, use of that. Um, but the, the other thing would be to, like, go Divine Theater. Yeah, that's fine. I'm very okay with that. Is my opponent working around the statue of Zeus? Okay, I, I think this is the play. Okay. So... Uh... <laughs> uh I have no idea here. This is kind of a, a, a bad set. Um, it's... Probably just I don't my economy's fine. It's probably just grabbing nine points. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer because I was kind of hoping to maybe be able to steal that, but so be it. So my, I'm assuming my opponent wants to, my opponent should go glass blower. See, my my opponent should have gone glass blower sphinx and then grabbed this card. Um, that that probably ends the game. Um, and I mean, I'm gonna do that with the hanging gardens here because um, I, I I I don't want my opponent to. Yeah, this is. This is the correct play. And then we get rid of this. So now at least my opponent cannot go into the last stage with... I mean, I'll happily take this papyrus. I'm, I'm, I'm confused a little bit on the, the, the strategy here. I think my opponent is just straight up avoiding statue to try to avoid statue of Zeus, which is interesting. Okay. Um. What do I steal? Do I want to steal a resource? Do I want to steal a wonder? Do I want to just wait and see what my opponent does? Um, um, I think just grabbing some points here feels good. And I... Probably. Okay, why is my opponent all of a sudden like militarying it up? I don't I don't like that. Okay. 
Okay. Um, this isn't worth it. I think I just discard this for five coins. I don't really need that. If my opponent really wants to get this, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, honestly, at this point, because my opponent is like avoiding brown resource cards like the plague. I mean, I don't love that, but I also, I don't know. I, so this is, this is a, a, I guess this is a good dichotomy here where my opponent is kind of dictating what I, what I am doing here. And, and one of the challenges here that I have to figure out is how do I, how do I still win this game, even though my opponent is dictating, hey, you need to play war cards, you need to prevent me from getting science cards, yada, yada, yada. Um, alrighty, so, um, I want my opponent to go first, because neither of these are a science card or a military card. So, yes, while these cards have an advantage to my opponent, it's not so much of an advantage that I really care. And now I probably want to... I don't even know what I want to do. Um, so, yeah, like, like this is a perfectly fine play here because now it backs up. So even if my opponent plays this, it's fine. Um, and then I am going to do this, and I'm going to use all of these tokens because then... That only costs two. I just need to do the Divine Theater at this point. And um, I'm just going to use one of these out of spite. Um, I think it is still raw here because this Sphinx is actually a really good wonder to steal. Um, it, it, it takes away an extra turn of my opponent as well as, um, okay, so I'm going to force my opponent to pay for something, um, so I'm going to do this, um, that's fine, I am happy to grab this, so yeah, I still have an extra turn now with the Sphinx, and I guess I could hit something with the Great Library that wouldn't be horrendous. Yeah, my opponent's getting quite a lot of money. All right, um, I feel I, I need to not fall so far behind on victory points. So, like, yeah, I mean, that hurts, but... So be it. Um... I am going to go ahead and play this. I'm going to grab this. Um, I want to force my opponent to do one of these. Hmm, actually, I would have done the other one, but whatever. Um, alrighty, well, I'm happy to discard that for some coins. Okay. And then this is where we now do this because, um, yeah, all right, all right. Um, I don't mind getting a double seven points. Um, so now I don't, okay, that's good. I did not want that to be a science card because now there's an extremely good chance, and by extremely good chance, I mean a really great chance, and I'm getting a lot of points from here. Um, this is another really, really good game, um, and I think I probably lose based on coins and the war and all the other points that my opponent has. Um, so, yeah, 93 points. Um, 
that is absolutely nuts that my opponent was able to do that with such limited resources. Um, really, really well done game of my opponent. But I, I, this is a perfect example of, yeah, I wasn't really able to do exactly what I wanted to do in that last age because I was constantly trying to find, like, okay, I need to make sure that this isn't a science card, or this isn't a military card, and, okay, well, I have to give up this military card, which means at this point is giving up 10 points, and it just, it, it can be... Uh, I, I didn't dictate that that game enough, and it cost me it. So, hey, if you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button, like, and comment, and we'll see you next time.